Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. While Indian Army has been looking for foreign assault rifles like 6 or 716 and AK-203 to fulfill its requirement, our paramilitary forces such as CRPF and various state police are aggressively acquiring indigenously developed assault rifles such as TAR or Trichy assault rifle, Trika, the carbine version of TAR and Ishapur assault rifle. CRPF have already inducted TAR and Khatak into their service and in February 2022, they became the first user of 7.62 by 51 mm Ishapur assault rifle. Recently, we have also reported that Joint Venture Protective Carbine or JVPC has got a major order of 5,000 carbine by Delhi Police worth Rs 85 crore. 100 Trika Carbine has also been ordered by NSG back in December 2021. If we talk about TAR, till date, OFT has supplied more than 10,000 rifles to Central Arm Police Forces including BSF, SSP, ITBP and CISF. Police force in several states have also inducted TAR under their modernization scheme. OFT has production rate of 2,000 TAR per month. The trust in the assault rifle by Central Armed Police Forces speaks about its success. While OFT is poised to fulfill an order of 100 units of Trika compact carbine, states dealing with Naxals are keen on equipping their forces with a compact 7.72 by 39mm carbine. OFT has so far completed the deliveries of 30,000 TAR and was expected to complete the delivery of 42,000 to 45,000 units during last physical year out of the order of 78,000 weapons, which was placed collectively by CRPF, BSF, SSP and police forces of various states. Now if we look at the unclassified report released recently by Department of Defense Production, CRPF has given massive order of 10,000 TAR worth Rs 76.48 crore to Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited AWEIL on 12th of February. AWEIL has also received another small order of 92 Trika Carbine worth Rs 67.16 crore from Kerala Police on 31st January 2022. Talking about TAR, it is 7.62 by 39 mm assault rifle and is a powerful individual automatic weapon designed to destroy the enemy by fire in a single and burst firing mode. It is a single shot rifle in normal mode and it can be used in burst mode as well. By firing in burst mode in short series, group or single targets at range of 500 meter can be destroyed. However, it has effective range over 350 meter. Its total range can reach up to 500 to 600 meter with proper mountings and modification and is meant for medium range engagements. OFT has also manufactured down folding butt version of TAR for CAPF units, state police and RPF for quick and easy movement. The overall length of TAR down folding butt is 900 mm in butt open condition and 650 mm in butt folding condition. The rifle has been tested at CRPF Academy over 15,000 rounds were fired to test TAR's life cycle and 24,000 for reliability. If you look at TAR, it so closely resembles Bulgarian Arsenal AR M1 F41 that you won't be able to figure out the difference. There is just minor difference in the gas block and cleaning rod. There is also some noticeable difference in the pistol grip of both the rifles. Just like Bulgarian AR, it is hot die forged and milled receiver, bolt, bolt carrier and double hook trigger for increased durability and service life. TAR being supplied to paramilitary forces will reduce the imports from Bulgaria. Unique feature of TAR is that it provides 12 o'clock rails on upper handguard which is not available in any other AKM copy. TAR is 7.62 by 39mm assault rifle similar to the caliber of AK-203. In fact, TAR is almost equivalent to AK-103 and very close to 203 in terms of performance. TAR which is made up of solid metal is also fundamentally said to be sturdier than AK-203 which is made of sheet metal. TAR is compatible with GP-25 and GP-30 recoil pad, under barrel grenade launcher M6, 
OFT has also developed 40 by 46 mm UBGL for TAR and AK47, which after induction would serve as import substitute. Multiple variants of TAR are available with stock and drill options. Talking about Trika, back in July 2021, OFT has launched a compact and powerful new carbine, which is called Trika, a short form of Trichy carbine, which can be carried inside a coat and spills AK-47 bullets. The carbine is a mini version of TAR. It is also called Mini TAR or TAR-3. The carbine has features similar to AK-74U, which is called Mini AK-47. In summary, Trika is a high-tech, low sound carbine with a range more effective than a typical submachine gun and small enough to be packed in jacket of the security personnel. Trika just weighs 3.176 kg including the magazine and has a barrel length of 8.3 inch which is almost half the length of an AK-47 barrel. It fires 7.62 by 39 mm cartridge of AK-47 and same AK-47's distinctive 30 round curved box magazine. The gun can presently fire four full magazines around 120 rounds without the barrel heating. It has many parts that are interchangeable with AK-47 and Tarzolt rifles being operated by our armed forces. The carbine has an effective range of 150 meters. Trika has a monoblock receiver, shockproof polymer lower parts and two Picatinny rails that can mount a variety of sights and scopes. It has a special muzzle booster which helps in hiding the flash and mitigating the sound when fired. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.